Coming up on Around Kern County, construction is underway at Heritage Park. We're sharing a look at the historic groundbreaking. And there's more to love on the Measure K dashboard. The new details you don't want to miss when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off today's show with some exciting news happening in the 5th District. This week, county officials and community members gathered to hold a groundbreaking event at Heritage Park in East Bakersfield. This is all to kick off construction for the park's beautification and enhancement project. This was made possible by $4.2 million in funding from the Clean California Local Grant Program and the hard work and dedication of county staff and residents for helping to build this dream. This project is an investment that will provide walking paths, lighting at this existing escape park right here behind us, lighting and shaded picnic pavilion, soccer field renovation, amphitheater improvements, shaded place structures, new bathrooms, a mural wall, and updated irrigation and new trees. Today, we are breaking ground on what is sure to become one of Bakersfield's most vibrant and flourishing parks. This project that we are showcasing today is more than just minor improvements to the park. This is about uplifting an entire community who has long felt left out. By making these historic investments into Heritage Park, we are saying that our children and our East Side families matter. When we create beautiful, safe, and inclusive spaces for our residents to enjoy, we are creating a community where all of us can truly prosper. This project is expected to be complete sometime this summer. And we'll be sure to keep you up to date with the nearly $52 million worth of park renovations happening around our county. Be sure to stay tuned. And we've talked about our Measure K dashboard before, but there's some new information you don't want to miss. As a reminder, Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure, which was passed by voters last year. This dashboard is our county's transparency resource that is easily available to residents. Not only does it keep track of every dollar collected, but it actually shows where every dollar has been spent. Since April, our county has been collecting a one cent sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety and homelessness. Here's a look at what's new on the dashboard. The county, we strive to be transparent and not only with all public fund dollars, but especially Measure K. We wanna make sure that the residents know we are meeting their request. When they filled out that countywide survey and told us these are the projects we wanna see, these are the initiatives we want you to fund. We are following through and we want them to know that. If someone navigates to our dashboard today, they are going to see the new money spent on projects and new performance measures. So they can see the total progress of those projects moving forward. To check out the dashboard for yourself, all you need to do is visit our website at kerncounty.com and click on the green circle titled Measure K. If you can believe it, spring is right around the corner. And if you're looking to clean things up ahead of the new season, Kern County Public Works is here to help. They're holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of March. On Friday, March 1st and Saturday, March 2nd, they're holding collection events at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste Saturday, March 9th at the McFarland Delano Transfer Station, Saturday, March 16th at the Lebec Transfer Station, and Saturday, March 30th at the Taft Recycling and Sanitary Landfill during those same times. You're encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information about these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next time.